Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Islands of Death for Zelda Classic Part 4, or the final part it could be, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, in the last part we finished up level 7, and we also beat level 6, and now we're going to head to level 8 now. I did some ruby grinding off camera, so now we should be ready to get to buy that mirror shield, and I can finally stop getting hit by these damn swords and all this other crap. Ugh, I hate this tiny crappy shield. Goddamn like-like. Yeah, I'm gonna stun all these guys with my fire boomerang. I'll use that to protect myself for now. Die. At least the level 4 sword is making quick work of these guys. And the fire boomerang eliminates Lionel's too. Woot! Alright, let's go back to the... to that shop. Kill a couple more Lionel's and Dark Nuts. Heal myself a little bit. And I also went back to the potion shop off camera and bought another potion, so... We're good there too. Now I just need a new shield and we'll be good for level 8. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't stop that line out from shooting at me. Alright, let's go down here and buy that friggin' mirror shield. Yay, we got enough. Let's get it. Ha <laughs> ha! I will never ever lose this shield, which will be great, so... Oh, how I missed you, mirror shield. Well, even though we never met before, but still. Great to have you, because now I can reflect stuff. Well, not Lionel Sword Beams, but I can reflect Wizro Magic. And I can reflect Beams now. Statue Beams, Zora Beams, and hell, even Wizro Beams. So I'm looking forward to that. And you need the Mirror Shield for level 8. Why? Well, you'll soon find out. Alright, let's work our way down here. This is how we get to level 8. Just take the path I'm going on. And you will be there in no time. Kill all blue Lionels and blue Dark Nuts. Yeah, believe it or not, folks, Castles of Peril is going to be the next redone LP I do. So, looking forward to that one as well when I get to it. More high-quality goodness. Alright, let's burn down this bush. We've got another Armos Block Maze that will take us straight into level 8. Hoping I can fit level 8 and level 9 in this part, but we'll see. We shall soon see. Go away, Armos. Alright, there's level 8, folks. Surrounded by a lot of water. Got these Lionel daggers and swords. Alright, now let's get our bow and arrow out. We need the arrows to get rid of the gravestones, and we need the ladder to cross the water to enter level 8. Here we go, folks. And the game music that plays for level 8 is Star Fox Macbeth theme. So yeah, there you go. And we got the debut of some brand new enemies in level 8 here. We got the debut of the Fire Robes. Oh my. And the Fire Robes shoot out fires and streams of a circle. And it does some good damage, so watch out. Kill these stupid Death Octies and Blue Wiz Robes. Ugh. Whole lot of nasty enemies. Look at that, I lost four whole hearts already. That's how nasty this room was. And plus you have all those evil blocks shooting out statue beams too, that don't help. But now that I got my handy dandy mirror shield, I can reflect them into enemies and kill them. See, look at that, that's uber. So amazing. And now the beams will actually help us out instead of hindering us. Oh yeah, my level 4 sword could also one-shot by or triple, that's nice. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but whatever. Alright, now let's continue this way. Oh, we got a Manandala. Let's bomb him in the face. Maybe I can one-shot this one, too. Oh, cool! I can reflect Manandala's beams right into him, too. Ah, oh, crap. I'm only blowing one arm off at a time. I lost my pinpoint accuracy with bombs. Oh, well. I don't care. We beat Manandala still. Alright, now we gotta press on to this room. Oh, dear God. We got a mega trap-filled room with whiz robes and traps and floor tiles shooting beams. Haha! -ha. I murdered all you whiz robes. Ow. Yeah, you have to kill all the whiz robes to press on to the next room. Alright, there we go. And now, folks, get ready f Oh, okay, wrong room. It wasn't the room I was thinking of, never mind. But we still have a new enemy in this room, and it's the Super Dark Nuts. And when you- When you hit them enough times, they'll split into two blue Dark Nuts. And we also have the return of the Bat Robes in this level, too. And the Bat Robes aren't much of a threat because our level 4 sword's gonna kill them quickly. 
So they won't have time to spew bats all over the room, which is nice. Ow. Stop hitting me. Get over here, you stupid bat robes. Alright, there he is. Alright, he's not close enough. I'll kill the super dark nut. Get over here, super dark... Oh, Wizard... Alright, get I'm over you, bat robe. I changed my mind. Alright, let's kill these blue dark nuts. Get over here. There we go. Now we just need to empty the room of these whiz robe bats and we're good to go. Yeah, this, this level's probably gonna take about 15 minutes. It's gonna be a fairly long one. <laughs> level's pretty ginormous. I don't care about taking hits from the corner traps. They do pathetic damage, especially with the red nail on. It's really not going to be putting any kind of hurt on me. Alright, let's kill the fire triples. Maybe we'll get some hearts back. I'm getting a lot of bombs. Holy crap. I don't need that many bombs. Alright, let's exit out. We're done here. And go through the locked door here and continue north. Alright, this room. Pretty easy room. Blue wizards, yellow wizards, and like likes. Nothing, nothing too frightening. No souped up enemies here. And now we press on through this room. Oh, I got a bunch of like likes and zoles. Aha, like likes can't steal my shield anymore. I don't care if like likes grab me now. Doesn't matter. They ain't taking my mirror shield. No way, bubble. Alright, what do we got in this room? Let's check it out. Oh, we got mirror ro uh, not mirror robes, uh, wind robes. Blech. We are gonna run into the mirror robes soon enough, though. <laughs> it's funny I should mention them. Oh god, watch out for the tornadoes. They'll take you back to the beginning if you get hit by them. Alright, wind robe. Time to put you out of your misery. Sword to the face. And now we get the map. Now, this is a pretty uniquely, uh, themed map here. I don't know what the hell it looks like. It looks like two tables on top of each other. Then again, I don't know. I created that design, I should know what it is, but I don't. Hooray! Alright, let's bomb this crack block out of the way. We're almost at the halfway mark. Okay, this room we got a blue Goma. Okay, let's get our arrow out. And dodge his beams. Okay. Open your eye, blue Goma. Aha! Ow, I got swatted by his legs. Alright, Goma. Damn it! Those freaking beams are throwing my arrow timing off. God damn it. You know what? Spam arrows in the eye. And we get a brand new arrow. We get the golden arrow. Yes, it's funny we should get the golden arrow before we even get the silver, but we need this arrow for level 8. You'll see why soon enough. First up, we gotta clean out this room. Got another Death Octorok Fire Robe room we gotta clean out. Along with some Blue Wiz robes. And we got a bunch of trees shooting at us, too. That don't help our cause any. Well, at least we killed most of the enemies in a hurry. Now we just got the Death Octis. Stunt this guy and kill him. Die, you. Hey, stop hitting me. Alright, Death Octorok. I got you pinned in the corner. You die now. And the blue wizard robe is going down. Get over here, you. You're not escaping my wrath. Alright, next room. Oh boy. There's a room even worse now. We got the debut of the mirror robes, folks. Oh my. These guys are gonna be evil. Absolutely evil. I'm gonna try and wipe out the blue whiz robes first so we got more room. Blue whiz robes won't really hurt us as much anymore. The mirror robes do a frightening two hearts of damage with the red mail. So that's pretty that's pretty intimidating. So try not to stay in the same tile row for very long with these mirror robes. You want to constantly be on the move. And wait for them to come to you. Don't be aggressive. Not worth it. Not worth your life. Whoa. Ah, Damn it. Oh, these bastards. They're so quick, too. I can only take one more hit, so... I have to be really quick. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Haha. Uh, -ha. Damn it. He moved. Yeah, these mirror robes are like twice as wild as the blue wiz robes. So these guys can be a bitch. Come on! Fire off already, damn it! Oh, they're not really moving towards me. Oh, whoa! Yeah, sure, they'll shoot when- Oh, damn it! Ugh, I really hate these mirror robes, they're such a bitch! They really are. And this is why I got a potion off camera. These guys will punish the crap out of you. Two hearts of damage on each hit, so... 
These guys will be taking your health bar down piece by piece. And these guys take a lot of magic spells to... A lot of reflected magic spells to kill. These guys are no picnic to deal with, let me tell you. Alright, there's one down. Hopefully you can get rid of this final mirror rope. Come on! Shoot magic already, damn it! Oh, this mirror rope's just being a little bitch. Finally! Yes, he's gone! Alright, now we're gonna head down here. Yeah, we got souls, keys, and bubbles. Not too much, not too threatening. Very easy room there. Alright, now we gotta unlock this door, see what we got over here. And in this room, we got... Oh! Regular whiz robes and blue whiz robes. Yeah, blue whiz robes aren't so scary anymore. Especially when you got the red mail. You start to fear the mirror robes more now. Come on, blue bubble, get over here. Aha! I got the magic key! Nice! Very, very happy with this. Okay, now we're gonna have to backtrack a few rooms. Yeah, the mirror robes are clearly the biggest threat in this level. Screw the fire robes and the super dark nuts. <laughs> Those are nothing. Alright, let's go up through this locked door. I'll let you pass if you give me some grub. Sure, man, here's your grub. Now leave me alone. Let me through. Alright, let me put that drink back. I don't want to waste it. Gonna keep that on reserve. I'm probably gonna need it later in the dungeon. Oh, God. Now we got a room full of blue wizard robes. Again, with the fire boomerang, not too threatening. Blue wizard robes, you can stun and kill. Pick them off. And then kill them with their own magic, too, now. Get over here, you. Haha. <laughs> stun you, die. You get down here, stun, die. Alright, back to full health again. I love it. Alright, now let's enter the staircase. Wee! Down the stairway we go. Where will it take us? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got in this next room. All souls! Okay, very easy room. Murder them all with our sword. Alright, Zol. And now let's go into this room. River of Blood Room. Alright, we got some wizard robes and some super dark nuts. And not, not too bad. I've seen worse rooms. <laughs> Ah, crap. Walked right into that. I gotta stop doing that. Alright, you yellow wizard rope. Time to kill. Damn it. Freaking beam hit me. I could have reflected it on. There we go. Murdered that room, no problem. And uh, let me get that fairy. What, what, what? See, don't lose your mirror shield. Like likes can't take that from you. Ha ha ha. No time to own all of them with my level 4 sword. And there we go. Next room, what do we got? Ah, debut of uh, our first of the souped up bosses. We got Manandela 2. Oh my. Looks very evil. It's got twice as many plant arms. And it's much harder to one shot with a bomb, too, since its body is like twice the size of the normal Manandela. Come on, get over here, you. Aha, got him. Alright, Super Manandela is dealt with. Let's move on. Alright, this room, we got the Death Octoroks again. And. Fire robes. Quickly switch over to my fire boomerang. Alright, stick these guys with the sword. You wanna reflect magic spells? Go ahead. You die. You die too. Alright, time to pick at you, Death Octi. Kill this like like. Alright, fire robe, you're mine now. Alright, clean that room out pretty effectively. And now we don't have to worry about locked doors anymore since we got the magic key, so we can open all of them now by default. Oh, crap. It's another mirror robe room. Run! Alright, I got the fairy back, so things aren't as bad as they seem. Now I'd rather get hit by the statue beams. I don't mind them hitting me around at this point. Especially when you're in a room with two mirror robes like this. Eek. Oh, God. Yeah, it might take me a little while to kill these guys. I gotta wait for them to get in a good position. And right now, they're in a horrid position. Oh, I got them once. Alright, get- hey, Stop zip-zabbing all over the room! Hit him again. Go, 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 go. Let's get behind him. God damn. He switched it up a little bit there. Come on, mirror rope! Get over here! Fire at the tasty link! Aha, alright, we got him. 
Wait for this. Oh, wait. It doesn't look like he's gonna. I uh, better stay over here. Go ahead, statue beams. Yay! I had, had a much easier time with the mirror rubs in this room. Alright, now we got the magic wand for our prize. Now let's get the hell out of here. Oh god. Now I'm just gonna stun these guys and just go right through. Go, 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 go! Oh god. That death octane got a hit off on me. Cursed thing. Move it like likes, out of my way. Let's save some time here. Ah, don't walk into the trap, you moron. Alright, let's bomb these cracked blocks away. Alright, folks, and now we get our first souped-up Goma of the game. We get Goma 4. And this Goma should shoot flames. And it doesn't, unfortunately. Yeah, Beta 183 is a little glitchy with Goma 4. Sometimes it'll shoot fire, and sometimes it won't do anything. So now, essentially, this Goma is easier than Goma, the blue Goma. Unfortunately, Goma 4 isn't hurt by regular arrows. You have to use the golden arrows to hurt them. Because that's the only weapon that can kill them. Alright. That Goma 4 was actually pretty easy since the glitch disabled its fire attack. Now we enter this room and use the red candle. Now we got some bat robes in here and super dark nuts in addition to blue whiz robes. So a pretty challenging room and we got the rivers of blood spitting beams at us too. Okay. Kill blue whiz robe. Kill super dark nut. Get heart. Alright, get over here. I think I killed the bat robe. Yeah, I did. And the Super Dark Nut's gone. Okay, I cleaned that room out pretty quickly. Alright, now we gotta go this way. I think there's one more final item we gotta get. Aha! The Super Bomb! You need that for level 9. If you don't have it, you won't be able to access level 9, so be sure to get it. It's vital to your success. Alright, now we got the Super Bomb for level 9. Hooray! And now there's one more extremely tough room we gotta get through before we finish up level 8. And it's gonna be this room right here. Another mirror robe room. Oh, dear god. You learned to hate the mirror robes from this point on. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really gotta keep... I really gotta pay attention to the mirror robes here. Gotta watch these guys like a hawk. The blue whiz robes, I'm not too worried about. Whoa. Oh, oh god. Alright, get over here, you. Alright, that's one blue whiz robe out of the way. Kill. Damn it, he got away from me. Get over here. Da! Go away! Get off that platform! Alright, or maybe not. Oh, I walked through him, too. Hey, I glitched that mirror robe out. Epic. I didn't take damage either, I love that. Alright, fairy. Alright, one mirror robe down. Good. Excellent. Just need to get rid of this last one now. Alright, mirror robe, get over here. You want a piece of this? You want a piece of this? Come on. I'm ready for your ass. Boom! Gone. And I... Oh, no, you don't. You're not, you're not taking my sword away, sucker. Alright, there we go. Got my sword back. Now let's go into the final room for the boss. Hey, just blue whiz robes. How I miss these guys. Yeah, these guys are nothing now. Oh, let me get that heart. And... Kill the like like. Push this block. And onward to the boss, which is Gleok 2. Yeah, Gleok 2 will fire off streams of flames, and it has eight heads. So let's kill this eight-headed Gleok 2. Don't worry, with the level 4 sword, you'll murder this thing pretty easily. And just like that, we get our final heart container and the final piece of Triforce. Awesome! Yeah! And that's level 8 done just like that, folks. Alrighty, Roo. Let's see what else there is to do. <laughs> oh, ow, stupid knife in the back. Cursed dark nut lino, whatever that was. I think it was a lino. Alright, folks, we're gonna go right to level 9. I think I can do it with the blue potion. I don't think I need the pink one. I should be fine. I'm gonna make sure to get that level 4 armor, too. Let's kill the dark nuts, the lino, every, every other threat on the screen. Got 19 minutes left. I should be able to finish level 9, but I gotta move really quick, though. I'm gonna try and finish this level. Yeah, I don't mind that cave. It's just, there's an old man in there that tells you to get to level 9, you gotta go on this white dock here. 
Alrighty, folks, let's get trucking. Let's finish this game. Then after I'm done finishing this game, I'm gonna eat, get myself a nice dinner. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything at all today. Kill some rope twos. And now in here, we got Lionel's. Yeah, we're just pretty much surfing to all these mini islands, which have different kinds of enemies on them. Almost there, folks. All right, we have to kill all the Lionel's to make that dark block disappear. That's going to be the gateway to level 9. And we got a bunch of trees firing off stuff at us here. Alrighty, uh, for this room, we got to kill stuff with the boomerang. There's too many enemies on screen, so we got to kill some of them to to move some of these Armos out of the way. Now that I've killed enough enemies, I can start moving the Armos. Alright, kill this one. Go down here, kill this one. You gotta watch out for the floor shooters, too. Got beams coming at you every which way. Ah, crap. Getting knives in the back here. Well, I try not to sustain too much damage getting into level 9. Gonna need full health. Or as close to it as possible. Alright. That worked out. And now let's get our bomb ready. Ow. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Alright, let's get these dark nuts out of the way. And now we gotta get our super bomb. We need this super bomb to blow open this giant cracked golden wall. And now let's enter level 9 and finish this game, guys. Here we go. And the most epic music, in my opinion, on my quest. The level 9 music is from Secret of Mana, the Mana Fortress theme. Alright, let's see. How do, where do I go to get that black armor? I think I gotta go this way, probably. Alright, this room we got Super Dark Nuts, Blue Wiz Robes. Oh, actually, Death Knights! Crap! I didn't realize that for the last second. Alright, let's stay in this safe spot here and snipe them with a the sword. Yeah, Death Knights are like a level 4 version of the Dark Nuts, and they throw very, very dangerous sword beams. So, they can take up, up to about, like, 4 hearts of damage. So, you really gotta be careful with these guys. Very dangerous. If you stay on the River of Blood and hit them like that, you'll be just fine. Alright, now we gotta get rid of the Blue Wiz Robe. And I think we gotta go south. Oh boy, I think we're gonna skip that room. <laughs> uh, let's go uh, this way first. Ow, stupid trap. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything interesting there. Um, I think we'll take the down route then. Oh, the bubbles are gone. That was interesting, I guess. Alright, let's go over here. What do we got? Oh, crapola. This is not a good room. We got Death Knights and Death Octis in here. Holy smokes. This is a very daunting room, let me tell you. Alright, let me get over here. Yeah, I'll be safe over here as I can block all these statue beams. I can camp out over here and hit the Death Knights as they come across. Alright. That Death Knight should be whittling down a little bit. That Death Knight. Alright, come on. Pass through one more time. I can get you. Come on! Hurry up, Death Knights! Move quicker! Aha! I got rid of one of them. And I killed the Blue Wizard Robe. Good. Alright, Death Octi. I fear the Death Octi is a lot less because they're weaker than the Death Knights. Come on, get over here. Aha! I got rid of them. Excellent. Alright, now let's pro progress to this door here. The right foot takes you... Okay, uh, wrong way there. I'm trying to remember which way takes us to the body armor, and I can't really remember. Uh, hopefully I'll get it back soon enough. Ow. I think I'm gonna try and push this video up to 38 minutes if I can, or whatever. I wanna find this level 4 armor. It's gonna make this level a lot easier if I can find it. Hey, we got keys in here. Easy room. Don't get enough of those, that's for sure. Bombs, don't really care. Traps, don't care. Continue. Oh, Petra! Our first of many in this level. Right, let's kill this Patra. Gone in two hits. Gone but not forgotten. Alright, this room. What do we got? Ooh. Got some Death Octis. And some Fire Robes. Okay, come on Death Octi. You want some of this? You want some of this? Come get some, bitch. Ow. Alright, good. I killed the Blue Wiz Robe. Blue Bubble, need your help. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these like likes and the fire rope. That's all that's left now. And get rid of you. Hey, get over here. Not getting away. 
knife to the- Damn it! Freaking red bubble, I hate them! Get over here! Come on, blue bubble! I don't feel like hunting- chasing you down here. Alright, we got some fire trouble here. Kill them with our souped up level 4 sword. Get over here, you guys. Time to make you pay. Alright, where does this staircase lead us? Hopefully it'll take us to the level 4 armor. I'm hoping it does anyway. Alright, what do we got? Oh god, mirror robe, skip! Go up! Ah! We got blue Lamoas! Let's kill! I could use my magic wand to speed it up a little bit, but I don't care. The fire boomerang will also kill the blue Lamoas pretty nicely. Yeah, blue Lamoas aren't much of a threat, especially with the red mail. You're not going to be taking much damage from them. Get over here, you! Die! Come on, die, you stupid Lamoa eyeballs! Get over here! Stop running away! Alright, now we gotta go through this door. And we fight. Ah, oh, another Patra! Okay, another regular Patra. Yeah, there's souped up Patras in this level 9. And just like that, we get the level 4 armor! Nice! We become Dark Link. I love being Shadow Link. Anyways, and now that we got the level 4 armor, we only take 1 eighth of any damage now. Or our damage is reduced to 1 eighth, actually. My wording of that was wrong. I apologize. <laughs> Me stuttering over my words again. What else is new? Yeah, I'm only going to be taking one eighth damage now, and I love that. Link is uber strong now. Even the Death Octis aren't going to be doing much to me now. And now the Mirror Robes will only do one heart of damage now, so that's pretty good. I'd rather take one heart than two hearts. <laughs> Alright, let's progress onward here. Alright, now we got to find Ganon. We already got the Golden Arrows from level 8, so... Silver Arrows, they don't exist in this level. Well, actually they do, but we don't need them. So, we can just get right to Ganon now. Hopefully I can remember the way to go get to him. Alright, let's go through here. And I think we gotta take the right door. And we gotta take the bottom path, I think. And through here. Yep, we gotta go this way. Alright, we gotta lay a bomb here. You know what, I'm gonna skip these enemy rooms, no need to bother with them. If it's not mandatory to kill the mirror robes, I'm not going to. <laughs> Anyways, in this room, we have to beat all the enemies, so... Got some Death Octoroks and more Fire Robes, Blue Wiz Robes, all that junk. Yeah, Blue Wiz Robes are going to be doing pathetic amounts of damage now. Oh yeah, a little tidbit, you reflect the Death Octi's magic back at it, you'll one-shot it, so that's pretty cool. A very quick way to kill the Death Octoroks. Alright, now let's kill these Life Bikes and progress on. There we go. Alright, now we got our third Patra. Let's kill this one. Yeah, this Patra's a joke, too. Kill him. Yeah, we'll be fighting a tougher Patra soon enough. Alright, down the staircase, and this should take us on the path again, and I hope. <laughs> Alright, now let's head up this staircase. And now we got blue whiz robes. Now let's kill these guys. Oh, crap. Blue whiz robes every which way. Good God. But their magic spells are going to be doing a ridiculous... They're just not going to be doing anything to us now. Blue Wiz Robes are, have been officially made pathetic now. With this level 4 sword and armor. Alright, we're going to go down here and fight some, uh... Oh, Keys and Souls, another easy room. Yeah, but don't expect too many more easy rooms. Alright, screw the Blue Wiz Robes, not killing them all again. Alright, this room, oh, very dangerous room here. We got the return of the Death Knights again. Oh, God. Yeah, these things are beastly. Even with the level 4 armor, I think you're still going to be taking, like, two to three hearts of damage. I th ah! That piece of shit. I got hit by a wind, whiz, uh, a wind robe. God damn it. Now I gotta go all the way back to that room. Son of a bitch. I hate those bastards. I was too busy paying attention to the Death Knights trying to make sure they don't hit me. And of course you lose your attention on the wind robes. Ugh! I hate that. Luckily we didn't get... Luckily, we didn't get zapped back too far, but I don't want that to happen again. Alright, I gotta really pay attention to the wind ropes, too. Once I'm on the River of Blood, don't have to focus on the Death Knights much anymore. So I don't want to get zapped back to the beginning again, that was not fun. 
Alright, let's uh, get a heart back. Nice. Stun all these blue wizards out of my way, suckers. Yeah, I don't think I'll even need the pink potion. The blue potion I probably won't even need either. This armor is just that amazing. Alright, now let's enter in here. Alright, let's make sure there's no wood ropes in our face here. Good. Hopefully we don't get any in our face again. Alright, that's one Death Knight out of the way. Alright, let me light up this room so I can see where the hell I'm going here. I'm trying to pay attention to so many things going on, it's kind of hard. I got the wind robe once. Ah! See, look how much that Death Knight did, even with the level 4 armor. I gotta get a better position for this guy. There we go. Much better, and I got a heart back. Good. Whoo, man. That was a close call. Alright, now let's kill this last wind robe here. Oh, I'm gonna get around you and stab you. There we go. And now let's press on to this room, where we got Death Octis. Less threatening. Haha, I reflect everything. Love this mirror shield. Love it, love it, love it. I don't care. Take the trap hit and go on. Alright, folks, the first of the souped up patches. We got Patra 2. It's got two litters of kids surrounding it. And it fires off a stream of beams, too, so be careful. Yeah, Patra 2 can be kind of deadly, but with a level 4 armor, it's not going to be that bad. Level 4 armor, I think we only take like a half a heart, so it's not too bad. Alright, let's kill this second litter. Alright, Patrick 2 went down pretty quick. Alright, now let's go through this door. Yeah, this part I'm going to try and push till probably 40 minutes. I'm feeling ballsy, so I'm going for it. Uh, actually, you know what? We don't even need to kill everything in this room. Just go. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in here? Oh, orange lambo. These guys will... These guys are going to be easy as hell. Alright, orange lambo. Die. Ah, oh, crap. Get over here. Get over here. Ah, I keep missing him with my sword. That final eyeball keeps getting away from me. Get over here. Only money, black. Alright, this next room, we got some keys camouflage in the darkness here. Gonna spew out some red flames, kill them that way. Alright, come on, keys. Burn! There we go. And let me just fire an arrow out this last one here. Die, Keese. Get over here. There we go. Okay, folks. Next room up ahead. The hardest room in the game. And trust me, I do not stress this fact. You will see why in a minute. Because you got mirror robes, death octis, and death knights all in the same room. Lethal combo here. Lethal, lethal, lethal. Oh, I'd rather have the beams bounce. Oh, crap. God dang it. Yeah, you need the level 4 armor if you're going to survive in this room. That's why I gave you this level 4 armor. Death Octis, Death Knights, and Mirror Robes all in the same room at one time. It's it's hell on earth, literally. Alright, let's kill this last Death Knight. Yes! This room just got 10 times easier. <laughs> and I got a lot more room to work with on these Mirror Robes now, which is nice. Come on, Mirror Robes. You know you want to shoot your magic at me. Alright, I got... Come on, come on. Oh, this last one, this one over to the right is weak now. Might just take one more hit to finish him off. Alright, come on. Ah, crap. That didn't work out. Oh, god, oh, god. Ah, oh, dang it. They're just zipping all over the place. Well, at least I can take four hits from these guys now, with this level four armor. Come on, mirror robes. Throw your magic at me already. Get it over with. Come on. Ah, they're not throwing anything. Alright, that's one down. Let's get rid of this last one now. Damn it, he didn't come down after me. Chase me, fool! Damn it. Come on, shoot at me! Boy, this wizard man, this wizard is stubborn. I'm sorry it's taking so long, folks. Come on! Damn it, mirror robe! Kill me! Or, not kill me. Come on, fire off. Damn it, he got away again. Yeah, mirror ropes take a while to kill in this room. Alright, there we go. Finally got rid of him. Ooh, that took a while. Alright, now we got blue Lamboas. We're almost at the end, guys. Almost there. And thank god I still got that blue potion, because I'm probably going to need it for the next patch we're going to fight. 
Kill. Come on, get over here. Die, you blue limoa. Boy, I'm just missing his eyeball like crazy. All right, second to last room in the game before Ganon. We gotta kill all the like likes and that's what we're gonna do. Die. Damn, man, that guy took a lot of fire boomerang hits. Go, 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 go. Hurry up, like. And this staircase is going to take us to Ganon, folks. And here we go with Petra 3. And Petra 3 is tough stuff. Better get the potion on standby. And this Petra 3 throws twice as many beams. And it's kind of more durable, I think. Alright, better heal up. I'm getting down there. And I should have enough health to last me through Petra 3 and Ganon now, I hope. Alright, Petra 3, time for you to meet your maker. With this level 4 armor, Patra 3 is not going to be doing a whole too much. So, stay in the middle of them and just slash for the life of me. Die, Patra 3. You're going down. You're going down in a place of glory. Alright, folks, we're at Ganon, finally. Alright, now let's get those golden arrows out. And it only takes one shot from your level 4 sword to make Ganon go red. Or actually two. I'm sorry, I thought it was one hit. I guess not. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna stay over here till Ganon passes us. He will show up over here. Come on, die Ganon. Just a matter of landing this one final hit on him. God, and the other and the statue head shooting beams are confusing me too, because I don't know where Ganon's beams are. Or where he's firing from. God, come on! Where are you, Ganon? I better kill him, man. Where are you, you big fat pig bastard? Ugh. Damn it, he keeps getting away from me. Where is he? Where is he? Jesus. Ugh. Ganon, get over here! There we go, finally got him. Oh, man. I hate that invisibility act. It's annoying. No matter though, we beat Ganon, and we ended Islands of Death officially. Yes! We beat the game! And we saved Zelda, who's hidden in darkness. Thanks, Link! You're the hero of Hyrule! Alrighty, folks, we finally beat my Legend of Zelda Islands of Death costume quest in V-Dub quality. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for my next redone Let's Play, which is going to be Legend of Zelda The Castle's Apparel for Zelda Classic. So stay tuned for that one, folks, and I will see you all later. Peace out.